right, Tim Stanley, Blackout Easy, just pulled into Spacious Skies uh, RV Park Campground here in Marion, North Carolina. So I'm in Site B3 right there. So what I'm going to try to do is show you how I'm going to back this thing in. So I keep two cones with me, and I mark where I want to uh, where I want to come back on the wheels, hit my give me a target point when I'm backing up. Put it right there. That's where I want to cut the wheels at, and I want to line it up on that second one over there. So I got a drainage ditch right there, drainage ditch on the far side. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna do this. So usually, I, when I first started out, I used to pull it tight to this side, and then I have to cut real sharp, and it'll put me out of bounds. So now, after doing it a few times, I come in real tight to the right side, and then that gives me a lot of room to swing out as far as the front end and make it good. So we're gonna see how it goes. And uh, so let's, uh, let's watch me pull it in. Rule number one, get to the RV park before dark. Backing the RV up in the dark is twice as hard and very stressful. Rule number two, whenever possible, always have the RV spot on the left side of the vehicle when backing. This gives you the best view over your left shoulder and the driver's side left mirror. Rule number three, always pull tight and straight to the left side. This gives the front end of your tow vehicle plenty of room when backing up and keeps you from going off the road or out of bounds. There are no cars today on the right hand side, but oftentimes there are in busy RV parks. Rule number four, back the RV slowly. As the rear wheel approaches the cone, turn the steering wheel sharply to make the RV pivot into the RV site. Rule number five, stop, get out, and make sure you are clear on the blind side. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and be the first to get new content.